Hello everyone and welcome back to an MMD tutorial on the road to 100,000 subscribers. This is Sango Nanami and let's make a heckin' model. So we're gonna start off with a base, as you do. So go to your MMD folder, user file, model, and then I have them all in different things. I was going to make my own killing stocking models, but I just sort of left them in there. So there's just a bunch of resources in that folder unused. Because, I don't know, season two finale of Killing Stalking killed it for me. I was no longer stalking it. Uh, you guys probably don't care. Anyway, um, base. Where is it? Base. There we go. I just have the baby in there for convenience. So, um, I made this base from the normal Petra model with her head, and then I put it on a TDA base body. Uh, I'll go over that in a different tutorial. Let's just focus on making something from a simple base. Now, first and foremost thing I should tell you is always, always, if I can find it, <laughs> find the README, there it is, in whatever language you natively speak, or whatever. Find the README and always read it and always make sure it's okay to do whatever you're doing. So, obviously, I'm not going to be selling this model data or. Okay, that's a little homophobic, but okay. Uh. What? It's not a big deal. I called Vivian mom once, and she's my fiance. I like to think of myself more as a titan killing long term booty call. What the f have you done? I worship you. Uh, so yeah, no uh, obscene, grotesque, violent content, obviously. Do not take the model apart. Okay, so what they mean by this rule is you're not allowed to create another, you're not allowed to what do what's called Frankensteining. So like Frankensteining a model would be like this, okay. Two very boring minutes later. So now I have edited this uh, picture of Sailor Moon to be Sailor Me in an expert fashion. Uh, so that's basically what Frankensteining a model would be. Changing the hairstyle, changing the hair color, because you can't make your own model from a base. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's a no bueno. Don't do that. But I digress. The most important rule of all is check if you're allowed to edit the model. But in this case, I know for a fact that it's okay to edit Petra and put whatever outfits you want on her as long as you're not distributing her to other users. Which is why I can't distribute her Attack on Heather's model because it's Attack on Junior High. You can get Levi though, he's on bull roll. Anyway, here's what we're going to do with Petra. As a lot of you know, I'm making a video of Rewrite the Stars. Uh, credit to the artist in the description. Um, so we're going to start by looking up little outfits. And I'm just going to play some music for myself, which you cannot hear because I've turned off desktop audio. <laughs> because I don't want another copyright claim. Because that's how I got demonetized. So first off, we're going to go to Google. Google is where you want to start with both inspiration for your outfit, if you don't have any idea of what you want to do, and also finding the resources. And since I'm doing Rewrite the Stars, I want to have a scene where they're wearing the outfits. So we're going to copy this, and I know MS Paint stinks, but I'm not using it for any actual editing. So she's got fishnet stockings, red shorts with gold borders, pink uh, wrist wrap thingies, and a pink top with some red lace. We're going to Google our parts first because Usually you can go on DeviantArt to get them, and I know DeviantArt is an endurance contest in itself. Because <laughs> while you're getting the actual 3D parts, you have to look through. On all levels except physical, I am a wolf. First we're going to go for the shorts, because those will be the easiest to find. Later, in the void. And bingo! So, now we're 
going to look for our shirt. 20 minutes later. All right, I finally found the top. And most importantly, one of the model rules is that you can take parts. Uh, we just need the wrist thingy. <laughs> you know I had to do it to him. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, we have our wristbands, and the last thing we need is our boots. Alright, we have all our parts assembled. And now poor Petra's folder is gonna get that much bigger. Yeah, yeah, Winrar, no one cares. So, for the shorts... We're going to ignore all the texture files and just import the shorts themselves. So that's easy. You um, click and drag, add, doink, the end. Oh no. So apparently these shorts have texture to them. And we're gonna change that. That's not it. That's for textures. Nope, that's the whole reason we bought them. Got them. That's the whole reason we got them. So we're just gonna get rid of the button. Apparently that's all we can do. But it's okay. We'll work with it. Gonna Bob Ross this. There's no uh, mistakes, just happy accidents. I'm going to look for what's called a spa file now, which is gonna make it shiny. Okay, that's absolutely perfect. So red F is what we want. While we're waiting for that, we're going to make sure there's no bones attached. Now these are the combined physics of Petra's model and the, um, the TDA base. And that's okay, as long as they're like this and have no joints, we don't have to worry. These ones are for her jacket, but they don't really, they don't, I haven't found them bothering any clothing. So I just leave them. Do, do, do. But we'll get we'll get to to the physics part of it. Trust me, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Luckily, these pants. That's why. <laughs> these pants aren't gonna take much in the way of uh, editing. See, these are pretty much fitted to TDA, so I just gotta make them a little thinner because the TDA base can be very thick. So when you see this, little skin bits, that just means it means needs to be a little wider. Okay, so when, when you select a part, you're gonna wanna turn it and just make sure it's not selecting anything on the other side because this is a 3D model. They do have a guide where they'll show you all the unselected stuff. I just prefer not to have it. So I'll keep it on for you all. And I'll show you the different, ugh, come on, different selection methods. So you can do it like that. You can do it like this, where instead of, it's, instead of a square, you can just select the entire lad, <laughs> the entire area. And don't mind our underwear phasing through. This, that's, uh, we'll take care of that. And to deselect, you hold down control and select the area again. And then we just turn around to make sure it's not spiking out. Same on the other side. Sorry I couldn't do this on the Levi model. They, um, the creator is very vague in their permissions, so I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to mess up distribution. Because I'm pretty sure I messed up Petra's distribution with the uh, balloons. It looks like I just colored the hair a different color and was like, hey, it's her daughter. No. Oh, heck. So apparently a lot 
So, apparently, the person who made these shorts put actual effort into them. So they made each individual spike, which is the fringe on the shorts. Which is impressive, but <laughs> it's not what we're looking for. Okay, so there's not going to be any gold fringe on there, because that's just a pain in the butt at this point. So we're going to take off the fringe. I mean, props to the artist for making this all by themselves. Like, that must have been a pain. And you're giving it away for free. You know what? To heck with it. We're gonna we're gonna edit the texture. Alright, so bear with me. I'm going to have to um, So I'll show you guys how to or ladies, gents, and everything in between. I will show you how to edit a texture so that it's okay. So that you can make shorts on your own and it's not going to be a pain in the butt. So, we're going to isolate the area. Make sure you only click body. You have to have only one thing clicked. And that is Kaushik using the litter box. Thank you, Kaushik. Split. Yeah, great. Right. So you right click on body, click split, and then yes. And unclick body. And then click the last thing off because for some reason it selects the last thing. So usually people will delete this part, but. Alright. So we're gonna take off the texture. And all of a sudden it's not NSFW, yay. Alright, and we've run into our first problem. Well, yep, that happens. So we're just gonna circle the bit we missed. If you accidentally select something, like with your mouse, while you have a really precise area, you have to just hold down the control button and then let go of the cursor and you won't lose it because that happened to me a lot. So, we're gonna split that. I'm gonna take the skin texture off of it. And we fix that. All right, this is where I get to show you the last type of selection that I use. I mean, you can do point selection, but that's when you're editing points. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, let's not do that. Actually, wait, nothing selected, so who cares? So this is doing it by polygon or by face. So we're going to select it by the polygons here. So it turns these polygons red as you select them. So split it. So the reason that the this is labeled skin is because I added a new end for each different version of the skin that I needed. Alright, so we have turned her skin into shorts. So we're gonna get rid of her underwear. Because we can now, because we're not seeing anything we're not supposed to see. use for her spa file. You can look for it. And red dot spa. So initially that's not gonna show up. Multi-sphere? And see now it's showing up. A little shortcut. We're gonna do fred.spa, copy, paste it. Then we go to multi sphere. 
multi-sphere. And so you usually can't do this with uh, MMD models because some of them are uh, anatomically correct, if you catch my drift. But in this case, we can, so we're using it. <laughs> 